Hey everyone, it's Sprout here, and welcome to probably the last Durango video I'll be doing for quite a while. Now, um, I wanted to go through the 10 reasons that's made me stop playing this game, and I think quite a lot of other people have also left the game. I know my clan has more or less died on it, my domain's expired, moving house uh, played a big part of my domain expiring, but of course, not playing it as well played a bigger role really so I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it so my first point of the game obviously it's this type of game where you grind and you grind and you grind but it just seems endless there's none no stop to it you hit level 60 you're still grinding you need to get the the, the indexes up your experience up you're doing this you're doing that it's just all the time you don't know what to do you don't know where to look you do the same thing time and time and time and time again it's just you go to a tropical island you go to a desert island you go to a tundra island you need to get your skills up it's over and over and over and then like you've just seen there your animals get old you can either pay to get them back or you have to go Farm another one, hope you get an S, hope you get an A, something like that, or just buy one, you need to grind and more, grind more, and it just gets really, really tedious for me anyway. Number two is your domains expire. Now, you know this from the start, if you don't pay for your domain, they expire, which is fair enough, but if, say, you have to go on holiday or something, or you don't have to go on holiday, but you know what I mean? You go on holiday or you have to be offline for a period of time and you can't help it, your internet goes down, or like me, you move house. Your domain expires and you can't do anything about it unless you've got a stack of tea stones to like, keep it for the next couple of weeks or something like that. And you just like, it's gone. And you come back and all your stuff's been pinched like, like that. It's just gone. Someone's took all your stuff. It's the most irritating thing on the planet. Number three is when you work on a savage island for so long, you build up a massive base, you build all your towers, you build your research centers, whatever you, whatever the hell you want to do once you've got your outpost. And then the season ends, the savage islands disappear, and you've got no way to pick up the items that you've lost. They're just gone. All your towers, you spend hours and hours, days or weeks or whatever, building up. And you can't even pick them up. Your clan leader can't pick them up. They're just gone. The season resets and you have to start it all over again. That was one of the things that just I hate about Savage Islands. Number four is it's not a casual game. It's more for the hardcore gamer. I mean, if you're like me and all the games you play is on your mobile, it's okay. You, you don't really play on your PlayStation or your PC or stuff, but if you're a casual player, which is probably 50 to probably 90% of all mobile players, it's not the game to play because you have to be hardcore with it. You have to be constantly on it. You have to be grinding. You have to be making tea stones. You have to be ex stopping your domain expiring. You have to do this and that just to keep going. There's no sort of break. You have to keep that grind up constantly. And I think a lot of people have download the game realized how um how much you have to do and they've just left number five i'm putting end game with question marks because is there an end game because when you hit level 60 you think right you can do other things yes you can go to the toxic oil islands but that wasn't there when the first game first came out there's boss monsters around but unless you know loads and loads of people who are quite willingly to die for you basically not in your party there's nothing you can do really about that there's just no end game content the content you get which is leveling up your indexes and stuff for the other islands is exactly the same as what you've been doing up to level 60 i think the end game needs improvement before i will continue to play this game because it's just boring once you hit level 60 you make a new character and you're doing the same thing again you hit level 60 again doing the same thing unless you can afford to respect yourself which of course is a microtransaction you can't really do much number six the economy on the game has went completely downhill since the start um, obviously with a player market you can sell whatever the hell you want whenever you want for whatever price you want so 
you've spent all day farming logs, or you've you've been compressing them or whatever, and you think, right, I can make loads of tea stones. You put them all on for 5,000, and then someone else puts them all on for five, 4,500, and then someone else puts it on for 4,000, and so forth and so forth. And then suddenly, your 5,000 coins one is forgot about, tea stones rather, and there's nothing you can do about it. So that really sort of bugged me a bit, because... When the game first came out and everyone was wanting everything, it was quite good being a processor. You could process this, gather this, make loads of money. Now, the essentially really rare items are good. like they're really cheap. There's no other way to sell anything anymore, and it's just completely ruined the game for me. That part of it, anyway. So when you first join the game and you've done the tutorial stuff and you wake up on an Andorra. The first person you come across, Kia, what I was just called, I can't remember off the top of my head now. She's riding a motorcycle. You can't get a motorcycle. Why put that at the start of the game if you can't get it? You know what I mean? It's just, it's infuriating. You, you see the other games like uh, Last Year on Earth or whatever, the other survival genres and stuff. You can get bikes, you can get motorcycles, you can get cars. Everything it tells you that's in the game, you can get. But... This woman has just found a motorcycle somehow, she's got fuel for it and stuff, and you can't get one yourself. I don't know if they're going to add one in the future, they might. I hope they do, because you can't tease me like that and not do anything about it. This has got to be one of the most annoying things for me. Right, you get an update, you can finally ride the Brachiosaurus, but you have to pay for it. You can finally get this, you can get that, but you have to pay for it. Why give a new content if you have to pay for it? The casual players, the players like myself that don't spend on games, have got no chance ever of getting one unless they save up and save up and save up their tea stones to buy one of someone who can just go, right, there's my credit card. You know what I mean? It's just, why do it? At least give, give. It's meant to be a free-to-play game with microtransactions. I, I get the microtransactions bit. Most of it is cosmetic. You get the emotes and stuff like that. They should have just left it like that. They're making far too many things payable. You've got the log cabins, you've got the the springs, stuff like that. You have to pay for it all. And if you look at the price of the Durango coins, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I think they're getting far too greedy. And it's really, really annoying me. Point 0.9 is more or less the same as point 0.8, it's a similar sort of idea. Everything is a mitos transaction, unless you spend hours and hours and hours doing something you have to pay for it. There's just, there's no in between, there's no, uh, but if you do this on the game you can get the premium currency or something, you have to buy it, you have to buy this, you have to buy that. And I think they've went a bit overboard with the mitos transactions. There's no sort of space in between where a free player can still get everything a paid player can get. I'm not seeing it offers an advantage in any way for like PvP for instance. It's not technically pay to win, but certain things like the, say the Labrador that's not available anymore, or the Hammerhead dinosaur thing I can't remember what it's called. You have to buy it. It just infuriates us when games do that. Fair enough if it was like a war game and you can pay to win and you can get all this and all that and stuff. Fair enough. But, once you start adding all these mantras, micro transactions in, so much so that the game is absolutely loaded with them, they're going to put off a lot of the free players, myself included. Right, my last point is the toxic community. Now, before I get into this, don't get us wrong, there's a lot of nice players out there, there's a lot of people who will help you, they'll come revive you, they'll even give you the item back that you've had. But there, you see it all the time in the the TM Island chat, the um, other chats and stuff, the general chats, that some people on this game are just complete ear holes all the time for no reason. They'll troll people, they'll make fun of people, and a lot of new players come on and they're asking for help and someone will give them a stupid answer or they'll just, they'll go overboard with giving them a stupid answer and stuff and then the massive arguments ensue, people uninstall the game and stuff. There's millions of times I've seen an argument break out in the chat and they just go on and on and on thinking they're clever and blah blah and just there's no sort of chat moderators or anything to stop people like this abusing other players 
It was just really ruined it. So, to sort of come to a conclusion, I'm, I've stopped playing this. I haven't took it off my phone, it's still on my phone. I just don't want to play it anymore at the moment until they give us something more interesting to do. Um, it's just a repetitive game. It's too repetitive, that's my main thing. And I, I realised it would have been from the very start, but it was new, it was interesting, there was lots to do on it and stuff. But now, max level, they, they haven't increased the level cap, you think they would by now. And they didn't give rid of Volcano Island when they said they would. So I'm just sort of stuck and I'm bored. And I'm looking for a new game to play. So if you've enjoyed this video, do leave a like, do remember to subscribe. I will be doing other gameplays on other games for now. I might come back to Durango in the future if they update it and I like what I see. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.